What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So the iPhone 10, of course, requires a few new gestures and swipe patterns that are a shift from what we've all come to know from previous versions of the iPhone. And I know, for example, that the lack of a home button or sort of the learning curve in general that stems from using the iPhone 10 could be a reason for some people to steer clear of getting this device. While I personally haven't found the new gestures to be that much of an inconvenience, if you prefer the standard home button controls from the older iPhone, there is a way to replicate that on the iPhone 10 using the assistive touch setting in accessibilities. Assistive touch isn't anything new, it's been on every iPhone, and if you've ever experienced your home button breaking, you know all about assistive touch already. In the settings app, under general and then accessibility, you can toggle assistive touch on and right away you'll see a new on-screen button. And you can move this button to where you'd like, basically right where the old home button used to be if you want. And then you can customize this button with the exact same controls and functions as you're used to. So you can set a single tap to function as the home button, a double tap to launch multitasking, a long press to bring up Siri, and 3D touch to just bring up the assistive touch menu if you want. You obviously don't have to set the assistive touch feature with these specific controls. You can have any shortcuts or commands in whatever order you like, but this combination will give you basically the same feel and functionality as the original home button. And it's a pretty good workaround if you really need it. And just as a side note, there's also a lot of other accessibility features and settings you can adjust as well, so I'd recommend just playing around with some things there and seeing what else you might find that'll make using this device more comfortable for you. And I shouldn't have to say this, but this obviously doesn't bring back Touch ID or anything. You still need to use Face ID, but you can tap on the home button to unlock if you want. And I also should mention that since the iPhone 10 rocks an OLED screen, you can run the risk of screen burn-in, sort of that shadow effect or outline of whatever is on the screen after a while. If you tend to keep the button in the same place on screen for a long period of time, maybe after a year or two of using the phone. Although the button moves around a lot depending on what apps you're in and if you're using the keyboard, so I don't think it'll be a real issue, but it's something to keep in mind. So there you go. If you've been missing the home button on the iPhone 10, that's pretty much how you can almost bring it back to how it used to be. If you guys have any questions or think I might have missed something, let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.